Hello, people. So, today, because I'm bored, we're gonna take apart this little vacuum. And we're gonna have a look at some of the internals. See some of the stuff inside. And also, please do excuse the noise, because guess what? My neighbors really like to be loud, because, you know, their neighbors and neighbors are always weird people. So, you're just gonna have to deal with this. And also, I can't seem to find the right tool. Okay. Here it is. I bet there's gonna be one screw that's gonna be a real pain to get out. Please do excuse the bad lighting. For I am in my garage. And of course the lighting isn't going to be that good. Because, you know, I'm in my garage. And also there's going to be a lot of sounds. Because my stupid neighbors have to be mowing their lawn, of course, during this time. Please turn on. Just please. Okay, I guess I don't really have to care if it doesn't come out anyway. So we're going to be looking at stuff like the motor, the battery, maybe the switch, but the switch is all the way up. The top. You sure things off? I think it is. Here's the That turns the little vacuum inside on and off. Okay, let's get rid of this screw now. Sorry, you can't see much, of course, because, you know, my hand's got to be in the way. So I was kind of taking it apart a Tecumseh, a Tecumseh engine on a big old Tecumseh 6.5 horsepower on this um, bench here. So it's going to be a lot of parts and stuff. A lot of frame. You can, there's a lot of stuff on this bench. Because I was taking apart an engine. You know, we can just yeet that screw. And then you're going to hear it fall on the floor. There you can see a little turbine in there. But you're going to be able to see it even better once I take the whole thing apart. So, you know, that'll be nice. Okay, so, certainly does seem to be wanting to cooperate. So I'm going to go turn it off. I'm going to turn that fan off. This should work a little bit better. Um, okay, well, it looks like I'm going to have to shove a screwdriver inside of this thing because it doesn't want to cooperate and hopefully not get zapped by the terminals of the battery okay oh yeah I gotta gotta get rid of this there we go 
Hey, perfect. Alright, so. Something is causing it not to want to open up. Ah, there it goes. Oops, it would appear as if I have missed a screw. I really should have had the garbage can next to me and ready. Okay. So, this is the turbine and it has some crap on it. It's kind of disgusting. There are the batteries. And basically everything just kind of falls out. I think there's a fuse right there. There's a fuse. It's a thermal fuse. And then there's a switch right here which basically stops it from operating. I'm pretty sure when yeah, it stops it from operating, I'm pretty sure, like, when this thing is removed. See, so yeah, you hear that? When that's removed, you will not operate. Alright, I'm going to go cut these wires. I have the wire cutters in here. You know, I'll just use this tin snips because it seems a bit easier. Look at that motor. That motor looks pretty rusted. So there's the all the stuff. Here maybe you'll get to see the the windings. Alright. I don't want to touch these batteries because I could get shocked. So I'm just gonna, you know, pass on that. You can see there's already a lot of crap in here. There's the, the wire. There's the stuff for the, uh, the thermal fuse right here. Here, I'll lift it up to the camera. Try to move these batteries back into the case. There's the thermal fuse right in here. You know, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna cut it and separate it from the other stuff. So you can get a better look at it. Here it is. This is the thermal fuse. It's basically a little filament in there. And when it gets too hot, the filament cuts off and it doesn't work. And it's getting really, really hot over here, so I'm going to plug in my little fan. Alright. Oh, that feels nice. Alright. So, here it is, and it might blow on the camera a bit, and it's not going to, it's going to be fine. Anyway, I'll have to talk a little bit louder, but here are parts, our a little spinny thing, our turbine, our little vacuum, I don't, I don't remember what they call this stuff. Okay, I think it's okay to touch these, but there is the charger and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then there's a little thing right here, which I could move out. There we go. I've removed it. A little resistor and stuff in there.
here's all the stuff inside this little machine. Alright, thanks for watching. You're probably not going to see many more of these types of videos because I don't make them very often. Yeah, you can see my mom definitely did not do the best job of keeping the filter nice and clean because obviously there's a bunch of hair and stuff in there. Because you see, see it throws it out of here. See that whole thing spins. Spins like that. It spins around here. And then it comes out of these. I wonder if this thing will still spin. Grab it. See what it does. Yeah, I don't think that's. I don't know if that's gonna spin. I could do this. Could break the damn thing. I mean, that might help. Alright, I mean, that seemed to work, but that only removed this outer casing on the thing. That didn't seem to help us get anywhere, because the thing is still here and in, in one piece. You can see in there, there's the little parts of the DC motor, like the commutator, the brushes. See there, the two permanent magnets on here. See, look at that. You see, it sticks. See, look, I'm lifting my screwdriver up. There are the two permanent magnets. You see, this one's polarized the wrong way. See, this one's polarized the same way as the screwdriver at this one. not this one is so yeah I could check out the see look go oh. that fell <laughs> Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. This has been uh, Aiden uh, disassembles a small vacuum that he found in the trash at his house. Alright, goodbye people.